What's up, guys? We're playing Game of Thrones by Telltale. This is going to be the kind of backup series-ish. This series is going to be going up at 4 p.m. every single day. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's just... Yeah. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Um, I've never really watched Game of Thrones, so I have nothing, no, nothing, I literally know nothing, <coughs> so, we're gonna have some fun, learning characters, um, you can tell me in the comments what go along with, like, um, let's go ahead, okay, so we were successfully logged into our Telltale account, Cool. Now let's go ahead and look at the trophies here. Are there trophies? Yes, there are. So, if it's like how it always is with Toto games, we're going to end off a video every single time we get a trophy. So it looks like there's going to be eight, eight episodes per per episode. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and play. Can I, can I name? I want to rename it. I want to name it Troy. I'm fancy. Ah, cool. Alright, so we got two. How many episodes do we have here? Oh, coming soon. I thought they're all out, though. Oh. oh, there's six episodes too. Wow. I don't know. That's weird. I thought. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and start episode one. The Northerners will never forget Tyron Lannister. I know that dude. He's the super short guy. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Forrester had been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolf's wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by the war, and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of the House Forrester hangs in the balance. Oh, God. I hope I read that all right. I can barely hear. As you can tell, I'm stuffy and sick. Let's get right into it. Quickly. I just remember something. I'll go ahead and put those subtitles on. All right, let's go. We're good. My bad. Jared Tuttle swear to the Lord Forrester. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brain. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. 
That's Kenny Manier, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't have to do Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you out right across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on, can I get up to you? Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dickhead. At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. 
What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Well, easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. The twin stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm so glad to hear it. I'll take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Run! We need to get back to camp. Very smart. So fucking stupid. Save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon quickly. Oh, 
Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Uh. We have lost uh. all that way. Damn. Through... The night. That's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. What a great opener. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. Peace.